we all want to have power. What kind of power? There are many different kinds of power, right? Political power, money power, etc., etc. But what is the ultimate power you like to have? What do you pursue as you practice Taekwondo? I think it should be the power. The power which can control yourself. Right? Yeah. If you don't have power to control yourself, then all power is meaningless. Money power, political power comes into you and then you are just what? Overwhelmed by it. The desire to have more power, more money can ultimately destroy you. Right? So, uh, it is the kind of power when you have it, then which can give you power to control yourself, right? When you have that power, then you can have peace of mind. And you can have true hope and true joy of life. Otherwise, you're all the time, you're worried, angry, irritable. You know. But I think the master of Taekwondo in ancient Korea, actually they pursued the power to, have, to achieve peace of mind. So, let me tell you that how human being is, is really uh, constructed. We need peace to be healthy and to be powerful. That's why when you see a master, they look what? They look peaceful. Yeah. If they look worried, they look unstable, then you definitely know he doesn't have a power, right? So, the true, uh, <coughs> true power makes you peaceful. So, let me get into the medical science now, and the relating the medicine, medical science to uh, the power. It is medically very important for us to have that kind of power, to be physically healthy and mentally healthy. At the same time, spiritually healthy. So, <clears throat> you met the fantastic guitarist, okay? Guess what? He's a cancer patient. He's diagnosed as terminal case of the cancer. He was worried. He was afraid. He was angry. You know. He was losing all the what healing power in that kind of mindset, people cannot have healing. The healing requires power, we call it healing power. Okay. The healing power is, is absolutely important for your health. Okay. For your what? Self-control. 
I think you know, those who practice Taekwondo is uh, practicing that Taekwondo not to attack, but what? How not to attack, right? And keep peace. And that's what is the true purpose of the practicing, you know, that kind of toe. You know, in 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 Korea, in China, taekwondo toe means what? Yeah, toe. Uh, maybe in Korean uh, pronunciation we call to do. Uh, I think in Chinese they call it tao, tao, and this means way. Yeah, way. Yeah. I found to means I found way, way to get there. See, I've been what, wondering which way to go, but finally I I found the way. I found the truth. It's the same meaning. I got the what power. Now I can handle my anger. Now I can handle my hatred. See how wonderful it could be. What I'm doing here is we have about 50 uh, some patient, uh, mostly terminal case of the cancer. They were diagnosed uh, that uh, the hospital, modern medicine cannot help them anymore. That's why finally they found this place and it came. And then they really beginning to learn to get, to find the way, and to have the what? Power. What kind of power? The healing power. Then, my, they begin to have a healing experience, which is medically, scientifically proved. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> let me show you this uh, uh, fantastic news. All the doctors were so shocked when this news came out. It is Time magazine. We all believed that our DNA our genes are our what? Destiny. If we got, we got inherited from our parents, the bad gene, that means what? I have bad destiny, <laughs> right? We all believe that. And as a doctor, I was teaching that to many people. And then suddenly, Scientists found out what? Uh-uh. It is not our destiny. That means what? See, if it is the DNA is our destiny, that means what? <coughs> DNA is not changeable. Right? That, that's why uh, we all believed, all human beings on earth believe that uh, the DNA is our destiny. Why? Because DNA never will change. But you know what? Scientists found out, discovered that our DNA is no longer our destiny. That means what? Our DNA changes. Hmm. If DNA does not change, I cannot do this kind of work in this center. People used to have a normal, healthy DNA, but the DNA has been changed 
to the bad side. That's why people have a cancer. Now, cancer means that, uh, let's say you have breast cancer. Uh, that means your breast cell in the past, it was normal breast cell. But the normal breast cell or normal lung cell became cancer cell. We doctors didn't know why, how. Why normal cell become abnormal cancer cell? We didn't know. We could not explain. Do you know why we could not explain that? Because we did not think, we did not believe gene never what changes. For the cell to be changed, the gene in that cell should change. So we were, you know, we we learned, and we are t uh, teaching people that uh, our gene never change. So can we explain how you have a cancer cell in your body? No, it was a bad fortune, <laughs> bad luck. That's it. How can you heal the luck? Impossible. That's why all doctors do is what? Only symptomatic treatment. They can never treat. They can never remove. What? The cause of gene change. Why? Because they believed for a long time what? Gene never changes. What a nonsense. It's, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's a comedy, you know. It's a, it's a huge, uh, huge comedy, really. It's a, so sad. So, all change in your health condition is due to the gene change. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's say, what about depression? Is that gene change? Of course, yes. Let me explain that to you. In, in our brain, we have brain cells, right? In the brain cell, every single cell has gene in it. Gene means DNA, okay? So, uh, let me explain this way. Every single cell work as computer. So each computer needs what? Program to be installed. So what kind of program it is installed determines what? How that computer, what kind of work the computer can achieve, right? So in a brain cell, we have happy program, happiness program. To be happy, we need to have what? Peace of mind. To achieve the peace of mind, we, your brain cell need to produce, uh, probably many of you already know, anybody know? <coughs> to have a peace of mind, to be positive, Serotonin, you know that, right? Yeah, you know, serotonin. Serotonin. <clears throat> when serotonin is produced enough, then you feel peaceful. Uh, I can sleep. Everything will be fine tomorrow. You become a positive person. See, but some people are irritable, always what? Negative, <laughs> or that means what? Uh, serotonin producing DNA is not functioning. That's why you need to have what? Pills which replace serotonin. Now that we call antidepressant. And that means uh, when you have a depression, that means your serotonin-producing gene 
is not working properly. Okay. Why? We have to know, right? Yeah. You were a happy person before, but now you're depressed. How come your serotonin gene does not work properly anymore? Okay. And we need to find out. Then, there's another question is, what happened to that gene, right? What happened to the gene? The gene used to work good, so you were so happy. But what happened to that gene? How gene works? What does genes, what does DNAs need? We need to know, right? Guess what? Do you know what gene needs? Power. See, that's what I'm getting into. So power, you know, uh, I'm talking about covers from gene to your life and beyond. That is how wonderful the power is. When patient gets the power, if patient even gets a little glimpse of the power, you know, they begin to experience healing, amazing healing. And wow! Then your gene were turned off, then suddenly gene become what? Turned on. Wow! See? Like, uh, <clears throat> Uh, then there is another <laughs> substance, chemical substance called uh, endorphin. Yeah. Endorphin. Uh, orphan is your kind of familiar, right? What is orphan? Morphine. <laughs> Yeah, morphine. So, morphine came from morphine. Morphine make you feel good, feel happy, feel good. Morphine. So, uh, en, endo means internal. In your brain cell has DNA gene which can produce an morphine. That morphine we call internal morphine. So internal morphine is endomorphine. Okay. So let's say <clears throat> uh, this blue, uh, a green gene is serotonin gene, and this uh, pink gene, uh, yellow gene is endorphin gene. So if your endorphin gene is turned off, not functioning anymore, and your serotonin gene is non-functioning and turned off like this, then you are depressed. So even depression is what? Gene problem. Okay? It is very important for you to know if you don't know, all you you have to do uh, to to handle your depression is what? Going to your doctor. He gives you what? Yeah, prescription. Am I gonna be healed? No. <laughs> yeah, doctors do not offer you healing. Why? Because they cannot give you that what healing. The healing only comes from power. And I think you can have that amazing healing power as you practice, as you practice Taekwondo too. See, that was your Master Kim's always telling me, 
and he, he we've been together for a long time, and he really longed for you guys to be here <laughs> for a long time, you know. And it was about two years ago you were supposed to be here, right? And at that time, Kim Jong Un was uh, behaving so bad, <laughs> so you couldn't come, <laughs> right? Uh, so at that time, we planned, uh, you know, but uh, this uh, this time uh, with uh, we're handling full scale program with the Korean people, so I cannot have uh, you know much time with you. That's a uh, uh, little. Just to, to uh, lecture twice, and uh, <clears throat> so, so our DNA is not our what destiny. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? The new science, the new science of epigenetics, epigenetics. Uh, uh, let's uh, say the uh, genetics. Genetics, you know, right? It's a uh, science uh, studying about the genes. We call it genetics. So I learned genetics in medical school. Uh, genetics teaches gene <laughs> never changes. Okay, and uh, uh, gene cannot change. Once you uh, get your gene from your parents, uh, that's it. You're all set, you know, and the, you got the, the destiny. And the epi means after, after. You know. That means even though you got bad gene from your ancestor. Even after you're born, your gene can still change. That's epigenetics. See, uh, epigenetics, I never heard of this kind of science before when I was in medical school. This is, all, this is really new. So when this cover story of Time magazine was revealed, here, look at this. When? January 18, 2010. Only nine years ago. Still this kind of just shocking news a lot of people are not aware of. If you know this, then you can have power. The power comes from what? from knowing, understanding. When you don't know anything, you are dumb. <laughs> you have no, no power. If you're dumb, <laughs> you have a dumb power. <laughs> you have to know, know what? Know what? Know the truth. Truth I got. And you have to know what else? Truth and uh, goodness. Somebody is what? Somebody is being so good to me. I am so what? Thankful. Then what happened? Does your endorphin gene turn on or turn off? Turn on? Why? Power comes. If you know the truth, you say, Yes, I got it. You have power, that kind of power. Then suddenly you feel hope. In that case, if that is the true, many cancer patients says, I know I can get healed. Hope, you know, you can get. Oh, it's so, I'm so thankful. Do you become happy or not? Happy. Why? Because your endorphin gene in your brain cell turns on. Got the power. 
Okay, by knowing the goodness. And then what else? The truth, goodness, and what else? One more. You all know. Beauty. Wow, beautiful, you know. Doesn't it make your endorphin producing gene turns on or turns off? <laughs> of course. Even though you're depressed, you say, wow. You know. A beautiful woman you saw. And you, if your endorphin gene does not turn on, you're definitely depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the beauty has power in it, even though beauty is revealed to you, and you don't, you cannot get the beauty, and then you're depressed. Something else is what blocking that power in between you and that beauty. Even though you listen to a lecture. And you, wow, this is true. Then you feel good. If you don't feel that way, that means what? Something is blocking. Something is in between you, your gene, and what? That truth. So, so let me show you this further here. Now, The new science of epigenetics reveals how the what? How the choices you make, choices you make can change. Wow, your genes. You know, physicians, doctors, were not that happy by this news. <laughs> Why? Changing, recovering the abnormally changed gene back to normal is healing, isn't it? Then that healing can be done by patient's own choice. Do we think doctors love that? <laughs> That's why. It is not being told you very much. Yeah. Do, do you know why Time Magazine telling you this truth? Because they are not doctor. <laughs> Doctors still very reluctant to say this to you. Why? Because they can lose their job, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you know, everybody, all patients, it is my choice. Doctor, can you ex explain this to me? Then doctor don't know how to explain it. That is the problem. Yeah. That's why they cannot explain that to you. So, because they don't know, they don't have the power either. You have to know truly. See, so I'm here to let my cancer patient to know they've been suffering from chemotherapy, radiation therapy, uh, you know, repeatedly. Then they've been what? Being destroyed and you know, die. Finally, they, are, they realize what? After repeating three times of the chemotherapy, cancer is now what? What? Getting worse. Medication is not working. And but they have to pursue what? They have to pursue this.
this. <clears throat> uh, this is this is cancer cell. Okay, these are the white, small, round cell we call T cells. In general, we call white blood cells. Okay, white blood cells are the immune cells. But among the many different kinds of immune cells, the most important immune cell is this T cell, we call T cell. T cell. T cell. And T cell has its gene inside. Yeah, like this. You know what? Did you know, as uh, cancer research is progressing, uh, we doctors discovered that everybody on earth, everybody, <coughs> includes you and me, produce cancer cells every day. Every day. Yeah. So, you know, you have a cancer cell in your body today. You produced it today, and yesterday, and a month ago. Then how come you are not cancer patient? Because of T cells. Okay. Uh, whenever you, in your body, your, uh, uh, the cancer cell develops, then this T cell is it's from the all over different site, different places, body converts into the what? Where cancer cell is. Isn't that amazing? And uh, and what? Then do you know what happened? Then okay, this guy, this T cell is is a very close to cancer cell, okay? Then you know what? The next moment, this red gene, red gene is the gene produces cancer killing substance. You have that gene in your T cell. This is what? This cancer killing substance is produced by this gene in your T cell is best kind of uh, cancer medicine. <laughs> you buy the cancer chemotherapy medication buying from hospital. It's uh, horrible. <laughs> they are the chemical substance which what destroys these guys, destroys the T cell, which produce what best <coughs> chemotherapeutic agent has no side effect whatsoever. Mm. It only kills cancer cell. Isn't that amazing? Can we? Human being today produce this that kind of a substance. Yeah. Amazing. So, even though you have been producing cancer cells in your body every day in your whole life, still you're not. You didn't become the cancer patient. Means what? Your T cell has been killing your cancer cell very well, like this. Okay, then, see, suddenly, this red gene, which would produce cancer killing substances, become what? Turns on by receiving what? Power. Okay? Jam! Turns on. When it turns on, look at this, how the shape of the T cell changes. Wow, changed. You know. yeah. oh. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, Changed. We scientists call T cells are activated. Activated. Jajan. And then next moment, this T cell activated T cell can produce cancer-killing substance and kill the cancer cell. So, so look at this. Cancer cell originally looked like this, but now cancer cell is what? Flat down. Dead. So this is, this happens in your body all the time. Every day. So now, why someone become cancer patient? It become obvious, isn't it? Because your red gene in your T cell is not what turning on. Why? Why? You are blocked. <laughs> And you cannot what? Receive the power. So the power, uh, we're talking about in Chinese character. Have you ever seen? I think you have seen this uh, character. Anybody? Qi, Qi. 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 That is the energy power, chi. Life giving power. Okay. Life energy, chi. Yeah. Um, even though scientists found out our gene can change according to what? Our, our choice. So whether you will choice, you will choose beauty or ugliness, or you will choose truth against false. If someone treated you falsely and someone betrayed you, what happened to your gene? All turns off. So actually, we say that in English, right? I'm turned off. Don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. You know what that means? My gene turned off. <laughs> yeah. That's what turning off happens at your genetic level. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So, uh, so you must choose what? Truth. Goodness, beauty, from all other different kind of choice you can have. All right. So now, uh, um, the power, the essence of power. Now we can say truth, goodness, and the beauty. Right. Uh, then. What if, uh, if we can make cocktail of the truth, goodness, and the uh, uh, beauty? Mm, cocktail. Mm. You're familiar with the cocktail, right? Uh, put a little bit of truth and a little bit of goodness and a little bit of what? Beauty. And then, <laughs> then you pour down on your glass cup, and mm, different taste. What is that different taste? It 
tastes like truth too. It tastes like what good goodness. It tastes beautiful. All three different tastes are what so well mixed and mingled, and it become totally different taste, which has all three tastes in it. What do you call it? that taste? Love. Love. So, so far I can conclude the power which can control your gene is what? In essence, it is love. Love. Love is powerful. So, if you hate, you, you say what? I'm turned off. If you're angry, you say I'm turned off. Right? It's what? what? All what? Uh, hatred and anger, it is all what? Something opposite to the love. So if you go the other side, the love side, I'm turned on. <laughs> right? Yeah. That is the healing power. That makes you, if you have that power a lot, then your whole entire gene will be very active and well controlled. So, Look at this. Now, we'll think about uh, this kind of situation a little bit deeply. <clears throat> uh, you didn't know this kind of thing happens uh, in your body all the time, right? You didn't know. So that means you didn't know. That means this is not what you're doing, right? <laughs> this is what something else is doing for you. And uh, uh, if something else is doing for you, that means that something else has what? Power to do this. Okay? You got it? Yes. Yeah. And that something else which has the power means that something else loves you. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not asking you to go to church. <laughs> okay. I'm 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 wishing that everyone need to know this what? Truth. Truth about power. Um, you go to church, I don't think you're going to learn about this. If you go to church, many churchgoers learn religion, not truth. I don't want you to be a religious person. I want you to be what? The person, human being, who know the truth about power. So, we are being, when we see this kind of phenomenon happens, which is a very, very complex phenomenon. Very complex. Uh, uh, let me show you uh, this uh, Amazing. Uh, what does it look like? I, I think a chromosome. That's right, chromosome. Mm. Boy, you're a good student. <laughs> chromosome. What is a chromosome? So I'll show you what is chromosome. Is essence, right? Okay, we'll see what is chromosome indeed. Okay, so we'll magnify the chromosome and we'll see what's in the chromosome. 
Do you know, you happen to know, what is a chromosome? It's a, a genetic uh, programming. Itself. Okay. Uh, chromosome is not gene itself. Chromosome is made of a bunch of genes. So, as I can show you this. Wow, so you can see all these what? Strings, right? Twisted strings. We further magnify it. Wow, amazing, right? Yeah. Now you're beginning to see the genes. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Now, we don't have this round thing in here. <laughs> okay. uh, this thing we call, a scientist called histone. Histone. You don't have to memorize it. Uh, histone. Histone. These are the genes, okay? Genes. You know what scientists found out? Gene switches. The power to come in, to control the power, we need what? Switches, right? We have the switches to turn on, turn off these lights. Okay. Yeah. There's a switches. And right now, this gene is turned on. Oh. Turned on. Okay. Now, let's see how this gene is being turned off. Wow. There's some kind of yellow stuff. The yellow particle is appearing from somewhere, right? And then it is uh, it is approaching to where the histones are. That means where the gene switches are, right? Wow, many more yellow stuff. Ooh oh, they turn turn off the gene like this. See, isn't that amazing? Is there any one of you know how to do it? You know, in our cells, small cells, we can only see under microscope. There's something amazing happens, which we human being. I'm a doctor, and then I cannot do it either. Okay, no human being can do it, but this superhuman power is controlling this, okay. controlling this yellow stuff. Uh, scientists opened up cell and uh, took out this yellow stuff. Okay. See what it is, chemically. Do you know what they found out? They found out one carbon atom and then three hydrogen. Uh, chemical, CH3, called methyl, methyl, methyl radical. So, why methyl? Because if you have put the OH here, it become what? Methyl alcohol. <laughs> That's a methyl. So this methyl radical is putting on the switches. And then gene which has been on is being what? Turned off. Hmm. Let's say, let's say, uh, uh, it's if this gene is endorphin-producing genes, 
and which has been turned on, you're happy. Then, then your your phone ring, and you say hello. What? That made <laughs> that turned me off. You know, you're angry. This happens. Yeah. Then, then the guy you call he called you said ah. Come, come on, no, no, I didn't mean it, you know, that the, you, you misunderstand me. Let me explain it again, you know. And then he explained it. And then, he said, aha, okay. I'm happy now. That means what? This meteorological tone goes away. When you're turned off, when you're turned off, this mathematical, when you misunderstood him, and then this method yellow stuff come and what turned off your gene. Then you finally understood the truth. Then guess what happened? Okay, now I got it. I'm happy now means what? Then this yellow stuff's what? Gene turns on, and endorphin is being produced again. You recovered your happiness. Okay? Isn't that amazing? Even though all this kind of thing happens in my cells and on my genes, I cannot do anything about it. Only thing I can do is what? I can choose to, to be what? To forgive or to hate. It's, it's a choice. Okay? Uh, I choose to eat healthy food or unhealthy, whatever, <laughs> no. Your, your choice determines the condition of your genes. We ourselves cannot control the gene, but our what? Our choice can definitely influence the gene control. Okay. Mm. So, for the best control of your gene, you can have. So, what, what can you choose? Oh, that's right. Love, love. I choose to love. I choose to forgive. I choose to understand. Okay. Then, then at your cellular level, at your genetic level, it is a something else which gives you power, is controlling that gene for you. Isn't that amazing? So, gene is not under your own control. Gene is under control by the what? Powers. And we have the what? Choice to choose what kind of power to choose. Okay. And so if you pursue to choose this goodness, the love side, okay, and then you becoming more powerful person. So as you become more powerful person, then what can what kind of power you can have? You can make other people peaceful. You can make other angry person to forgive. See? And this is a really powerful person. 
powerful to make somebody else to what? To be healthy, <coughs> to be healed. All right. So, where do you can see that kind of this kind of teaching? Mm, that's what Bible teaches. Bible teaches what? God healed sick people with his what? Word. Because the word has what? Love in it. The truth in it. Goodness in it. Beauty in it. Has the healing power. That's why your gene go back to normal. See? But on the other hand, the religion teaches if you're being good to God, God will be good to you. <laughs> That's a religion. Okay. That's a absolutely what? Conditional dealing. Okay, I'll be good to you, and you should be good to me. You know. That's not the truth. Okay. That I call religion. I think religion used to be truth, but it's been what? It's been altered for a long period of time. And then to handle what mass group of the people. But, uh, but so, now, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, now we go back to that picture here. I and you cannot do this. But it's something else knows you more than you know about your body. Right? Something else knows your gene more than you know about your genes. Okay. It's a superhuman knowledge. Okay. And uh, the superhuman knowledge, the, the, uh, something which has a superhuman knowledge has a superhuman power. What we need is actually superhuman power to be healed. Human power, the human knowledge has limitation. That's why you cannot get healing from medical human knowledge. Okay. Uh, so our power coming from the knowledge but the superhuman power comes from what? Love. See? And uh, <clears throat> so I think if you practice your taekwondo to knock down the other guy, <laughs> you cannot have that power. Superhuman power that much. All you have is what you're using is your human power. Um, you cannot really enjoy what? The happiness, the peace, the super, superhuman being can give you. And uh, when you really receive the power, which is handling this kind of situation, which this cancer cell can kill you. If you choose, still you choose to be angry, to hate, to be hateful, and so on and so on, then cancer cell will be eventually kill you. But if you choose that love, which is, consists of what? Truth goodness and beauty can kill that cancer cell. And the, that what? The power, the essence of the power we call love, right? So there is a power called love. Because of that power is 
is existing, that's why you have what? Natural healing of the cancer all the time. Even if you don't go to what? Church. Even though you don't give any money to God, God does not care. God just what? Loves you. Even that love heals, kills cancer cells in Kim Jong Un's body too. Right? This is the truth about love. Hmm. Then we say what? It's not fair. That means what? I'm good. I'm better guy than Kim Jong Un. Are you really? <laughs> If you are in Kim Jong Un's shoes, you'll be different. I don't think so, right? So, it's a, we call that love, which is a totally different from human love. We call what kind of love? Unconditional. Call that grace. Grace. Okay. Grace. So we're living in the. Grace, no matter who you are. See? Yeah. If you know the disgrace, it can touch your gene a little bit, right? Then you, your choice may become different. Okay, that's what the, what the thought whole thing is. So, we are all living under the what? Grace. Unconditional love. Which is, so, look at this. Uh, it means what? When, you, when I see this picture, you know, I see the what? Love. Ah, beautiful cherry blossom. Right? And I guess uh, you guys have uh, uh, been on airplane the whole night <laughs> and uh, kind of tired and uh, oh, terrible. So no, you could not really, when you're so tired, you cannot really enjoy the beauty very much. But uh, why? Why? The flowers, the blossoms, you know. Blossoms. Why this flower we have in our nature? Why? What is the reason? Have you seen something like this? You know, we think we human beings is only one to enjoy the fragrance of the flower. Is it true? No. 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 See. So this golden retriever will say in his mind what? This is beautiful. His gene turn on or not? Turn on. Flower is there for us to have our genes to turn on, to give us power. So that's why when you, have, when you want to have a power, you need to be in, surrounded by the beauty and to know the truth and to feel what? Goodness. And be thankful. Wow. You know. okay. huh. Even cat. Oh. <laughs> Tiger, white tiger. 
Actually, they have what? Much keener smell sense than we human beings. 50 times, 100 times powerful, more powerful. So they can enjoy more than we do, actually. Oh, oh. wrong turn. Oh, this guy, <laughs> boy, he's going to enjoy it. There you go. I want to go home with it, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, fox. You know, daffodil. I couldn't smell daffodil because it, I never noticed any kind of what? I couldn't enjoy it, but, but they, they do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. 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 Mm. Ah. Whoa. Really? You never expected this, right? They do. See, we need to have a flower, right? Yes, yes we do. So, so from now on, to have more power, I want you to be concentrated on to the what? The beauty of the nature, especially the flowers. And uh, especially, uh, uh, the men's sense of the smelling is much weaker than women's. And so, so even though you can smell the rose, please buy a rose for your wife. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Oh, even, oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh. You cannot make him look, laugh like this, right? But flowers. The fragrance can do. It has, it has the power. Make him to laugh like this. To make him feel happy like this. So, we are living in this kind of amazing nature, which is what? Created by someone who created our genes. So, uh, let me show you this uh, amazing picture here. This is uh, premature babies, okay? Born uh, seven months, you know, six months. They are supposed to be in what? Incubator. <coughs> Why they do this now? So they, this kind of practice, medical practice, uh, the, we doctors call kangaroo mom therapy. <laughs> kangaroo mom. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we need to put these premature babies in the incubator is because of what? Uh, temperature control and the humidity control. They need, uh, premature babies need certain level 
of the humidity and temperature must be maintained. Why? Because they don't have, uh, they have very immature brain cells, which is uh, uh, controlling the body temperature. So, if your environmental temperature goes down, they become, well, their body temperature goes down and become very hypothermic, you know, and very dangerous. And uh, <clears throat> And you know what? So, they thought we must have an incubator 20, uh, around 24 hours. But they now do this for several hours. Why? Do you know why? Doing this with the incubator is much better than 100% incubator. Hmm. Do you know how they found this out? In Colombia, okay. in the Colombia National Medical School, and uh, you know, Colombia do not have uh, much, you know, income in their government, so it's uh, uh, very poor, and and also you know, Colombia there's a. Uh, drug is so rampant, and uh, because of all this situation, these uh, young girls, uh, you know, uh, even before marriage, they become pregnant, and then because of smoking, because of uh, drug, and the babies, just what? The early premature baby is so much more nowadays. And then they need the hospital needed more incubator, but the government cannot provide that financially, and uh, so they didn't have enough incubator. So what they did was, uh, uh, if you have uh, money, then your baby can stay in incubator twenty four hours, <laughs> and if you're poor, uh, then what? Uh, you have a rotation. <laughs> you know. After several days, uh, several years, uh, you know what they found out? Poor babies go home much earlier than rich babies. That means what? The hour stays in mom's breast. Love is much better medicine. Than incubator can provide. Is that amazing? That's why, that's why, you know, uh, they finally what well, they discovered it. Now, that what about temperature control then, right? So incubator is has a thermostat. So baby's temperature goes down, then incubator turns on automatically, and then, you know, uh, the body temperature can be maintained at a certain level. But in this, in this way, how? There's no thermostat. Do you know what? Amazing. The amazing thing, which is the power of love, really, the amazing thing the scientist discovered. The what kind of phenomena? They found this. Maternal, maternal means mom, right? Yeah. Maternal infant, maternal infant, Thermal, thermal, synchrony, synchrony. Actually, the babies cannot control their own body temperature. Why? Because they're immature, you know, uh, thermal regulation. Hmm. 
And it, when 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 my, uh, baby's temperature goes down, guess what happened to mom? Mom has good, you know, healthy thermal regulator here, but mom cannot control her body temperature either. Can you? You can. We can't. Even though it's there, so. It is the other power comes from outside is regulating our body temperature, you know. But the the power outside cannot control maintain baby's body temperature because what? The other uh, power coming from outside cannot use this what thermostat? Why? Because this is immature, and. The power uh, that wants to what uh, normalize baby's body temperature is using whose thermostat? Mom's. Mom doesn't know what's happening. Mom doesn't know anything. Mom only what loves baby. That's all. You know this. Simply loving is so. Important. Mm. That has amazing power. Then, when you love, then power coming from outside, which we call love, which is doing what? Uh, activating your T cell and the gathering T cell and what? Sending T cell to the cancer cell and then eventually activating that gene and the pro uh, making it produce to cancer killing substance. And kills the cancer cell and protecting you. Stay alive because it loves you no matter what. Not because you go to church, not because you give money to God, you know, not religiously, it's lovingly. That's the truth. So, doctors found out. Mother's body temperature changes without mother being what? Realizing it. For whom? For baby. Yeah. Give a hand. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That we call power. The, the true power in truth, power and love, which will make you healthy and happy. And in fact, you know, it is not just the power of what? Punch. It is the power of what? Just a, you, can, you can just look at him. He will love you. Or she will love you. And then healing is occurring inside of you. So, uh, so this is so we need to realize the true source of power, right, and the true nature of the power. So once you. Once you realize that, so I think I wish I, you know, uh, I met the Master Kim long time ago, so I could be his student, right? And then, and then, then uh, I was uh, I was uh, no good at all in what. Fish fighting at all, and I was always beaten up. You know. <laughs> and therefore, I always had what fear. If someone you know, will attack me, and what can I? You know, I, I have no what uh, protection, and um, I had not much in peace. You know, but uh, when you become become at least what uh, you you're good in practicing your know, taekwondo uh, 
in that taekwondo, you find what? True way. To go to, to reach the what? Peace. When you're strong, you can be peaceful. Isn't it? Right? So, uh, uh, actually, the true purpose of practicing this kind of toe is what? To achieve true peace, which is actually the most powerful situation you can achieve in your life. See? Well, it can make you physically healthy and, uh, you know, uh, and also you can make you strong. As you become stronger physically, uh, you can become what? Psychologically much more generous, isn't it? Much more understanding. So it is necessary to achieve moral power. Why healing power? You need to what? Practice to improve your physical power too. When this physical power and uh, this true power and goes along together, then you are doing something very good, worthwhile, right? Yeah. If you only pursue, uh, uh, come on, come on, <laughs> you know, knock down. Yeah. Mm. I don't know how how long it's gonna last. You know, as you get older, aged, it disappears. And you feel so empty, powerless. And as you lose that physical power, you know, you feel more what? Emptiness and nothing. So they, this, uh, the physical power and this uh, amazing, the healing power has to go to hand in hand. I wish I could. So, so, uh, okay. Any questions so far? As you grow older, your physical power decreases. So how can you, what do you supplement? What, what else? I think, uh, I'm 76 years old, okay, and uh, physically, I, 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 I cannot knock someone down, <laughs> okay. However, I'm physically very fit, okay, and uh, uh, like a, uh, Christmas time last year, <clears throat> I went to New Zealand. Uh, have you heard of uh, Milford Trek? Milford Trek. It's one of the most beautiful spot in whole world called the Milford Sound. And that area is, uh, is a, it's a fjord, fjord uh, area. It's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. And then there are what? The long mountain track. Uh, but, uh, and uh, it takes about five days to, uh, to finish uh, that uh, uh, mountain track. And uh, I have to, we have to stay in the mountain you know, for five days, you know, go on and uh, uh, wake up and I have to quickly have a breakfast and put, make a sandwich and put it in the uh, you know, bag and then <laughs> walk, 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 you know, about you know, six, seven hours every day, continuous walking. And uh, uh, I was, I thought that with, with whether I could do that or not, but uh, 
I did it. Went through it. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> And uh, then I, I, I realized, hey, I could do that, you know? Wow! Then I realized it's not just my own physical power. It is what? Spiritual power I was receiving from what? Beauty of the nature. You know, you know why? Because there's a lot of people, uh, like a, um, still somewhat old people, some old woman, was doing that. Then I realized it's not, you know, if you ask me to walk seven hours in Seoul City, I'll be what? But every day after finishing walking, came back to uh, our, you know, the, the, the mountain hotel, still, you know, feeling good, and then have a good dinner, and then could sleep, and then, you know, five days in a row. I have to come back, you know? Ah. So, what I realized was, uh, if I I have more truth in my knowledge, right? If I feel more thankfulness from the goodness of this grace, graceful God, whatever, okay, and uh, and I. I can have more beauty from, in my case as a Christian, from the Word of God. Uh, that is the, really the best thing to have to maintain what? Genetic power, gene activating power. Which is in turn your what? Physical power. Is it? So, however, to have the power, to have the power, you need to be prepared to have the power. Okay. Uh, first of all, even though you have all this goodness, you know, ah, wonderful, you know, beauty, but you got to do what? The real what? Real exercise. So, I have to do every daily exercise. Hmm. Up until that time, I was only, what, walking maybe hour, hour and a half a day, you know. Uh, but uh, when I was in New Zealand, uh, six, seven hours a day with what? Uh, with a backpack. See, my wife do not want to have a backpack. So I took all her <laughs> stuff and it was very heavy. Uh, even with that backpack, I, 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 I completed the course, you know. Which was unbelievable to me because at, in the New Zealand I could not avoid that, you know. Uh, I had to do it anyway. And uh, so, guess what? What I'm doing now? Hey, you know what? Actually, uh, I did it and I could do it. And now I have a backpack. With the same weight, I put a rock in it. <laughs> so, right. uh, this is time I I, I actually uh, do backpacking, you know, uh, and uh, go to trail. But because of this lecture, uh, I have to do it at night, uh, you know, after nine o'clock. And so, it's heavy, you know? and and I discovered, hey. 
this is feeling much better. Then I have better appetite now, right? So you have to uh, eating healthy diet, and uh, this is great choice, you know. And uh, uh, so I feel I have a fitness much better than five years ago. <laughs> Yeah, last year. So I'm looking forward getting older <laughs> because as long as I maintain this healthy diet, daily regular exercise, water drinking. So we'll get into that a uh, little bit detail tomorrow. Okay, and uh, so uh, so if you prepare yourself to receive the power from the truth and the beauty and the goodness, uh, and then, uh, uh, then uh, you can actually have more power into your cells and that power can activate your gene much more efficiently. Therefore, your, your power of your physical power improve. So, physical power and uh, this what? Healing power goes to hand in hand together. Any other question? Okay, then uh, uh, and then uh, uh, have a little walk okay. uh, up uh, or to, uh, in the in the wood and uh, or go down to cherry blossom and then enjoy it uh, to uh, the supper time so uh, I'll see you tomorrow okay thank you very much